Hello and welcome to our second week of Phase 5 Phonics. We're moving on this week to looking at the E sound. Now today we're back to reading. We're going to do it just like we did last week. So join me now. Uh, let's go through it together. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start off just like we did last week by playing the fastest finger game. Now let me remind you how to play this. This is to warm up our brains and to get us thinking um, of all the sounds that we already know. So you can play this with one finger or two fingers pointing and ready. And I'm going to give you a sound and then I'm going to give you 10 seconds to point to that sound um, on the mat of words. Okay, so get your fingers ready. Your first sound that you are looking for is the k sound. Okay, the k sound and you've got 10 seconds to see which words you can find. Okay, let's see what you found. Let's see whether you found any words with the k sound. So there are three options here. You could have had track, spec, or desktop. Now, track and spec both end in the k sound, and it's spelt with a ck, whereas desktop has got the k sound in the middle of it, and it's spelt with just a k. Okay, ready for that next one then? Get your fingers ready. You've got 10 seconds to find the sh sound, just like at the start of shop, sh, okay? Right, you've got 10 seconds, off you go. Okay, let's see what you found. And there, again, there were three words you could have found here. And the words were shampoo, shelter, and shelving, shelving. Um, so all of these words had the sh sound at the start of the word, and we know that that sh sound is spelt with an S and an H. Right, ready for the next one? We've got two more, so get your finger ready. This time you are looking for the f sound, the f sound, like at the start of the word free, the f sound, okay? Right, 10 seconds, off you go. Okay, let's see what you found. Let's see if you found any words with the f sound. And you can see that there were five options to pick from. You could have had gift box, from, frog, flag, or sniff. Now you can see that the f sound has come in all different places in the words. We've got some at the start, one in the middle, and one at the end. And the one at the end here, you'll notice, is spelt with two of the letter F, okay, whereas the others are just spelt with a single F. So just interesting that the F sound can be spelt in different ways. Right, are you ready for the last one? Our brains are almost fully warmed up, and this one's a bit of a tricky one. I like to make the last one a bit tricky, and there's only one word with this sound in it, and the sound I'm looking for is the E sound, okay? Have a look for the E sound, 10 seconds. Okay, did you find it? It's a pretty funny word this time, and there it is, chimpanzee. Chimpanzee, and it ends in that E sound, and the E sound is spelt E, E, double E. Okay, fantastic, well done. Well done for all those words that you found. Great start. Let's move on then to our new sound for today. So we're looking at the E sound today, and we normally, or we've come across the E sound before um, with this spelling, E, E, just like we saw at the end of that word chimpanzee. And you can see it again here in the word tree, T, R, E, and there's the E sound spelt E, E. But today we're going to be looking at the different ways that you can spell the E sound. Now these are not all of the different ways, but they're the ones you'll come across most often in other words. Now we've got EA, E split digraph E, and E by itself. 
Now, before we move on to doing some reading and thinking about reading words, I just want to um, quickly talk about this spelling here, E-A. Because you'll remember, actually, we came across some words that had the E-A spelling last week, didn't we? We came across the words great, steak, and break. And in those words, the E-A made an A sound. St, A, K, steak. It made an A sound. But this week, we're looking at when E and A together make an E sound. So it's just worth knowing that sometimes the same spelling can make different sounds. And if you're not sure of a word, you might have to try out um, saying the word to see which one um, sounds right, see which one makes um, a real word. Okay, right, before you have a go then, let me show you, let me remind you what we need to do when we're um, reading a word. Okay, so let's do a nice simple word here, tree, which we should already know, but we'll just use it as an example. So if I want to, if I meet this word for the first time and I'm not too sure how to say it, then what I need to do is I need to break the word down into each of its sounds, say them one by one, and then blend them all together to make the word. Let me show you what that sounds like, okay? Listen to this. T, r, e, tree. T, r, e, tree. Okay, so you can see how I said each of the sounds one at a time and then I blend them all together. Okay, and that's a really, really good strategy for you to use um, when you're reading a word that you're not sure what it is. Okay, time for you to have a go now. So have a look at these words here. I've arranged them just like last week. I've got the different spellings of E at the top and underneath is a list of of um, all of the words that use that spelling and have the E sound. So you can either go down the lists or you can hop across um, each list like that and have a go at reading these words. Use the strategy that I've just shown you, breaking down the word into each of its sounds and then blending them together and look out for where the E sound is in each of these words. Okay, so pause now, have a go at that and then click play when you're ready to do the next bit. Okay, fantastic. Let's move on then. Hopefully you had a go at reading all of those words and listening out for where the E sound was. Before we have a go at doing some sentences, there's three words again that I just want to show you um, because they're words that are a little bit unusual. So the first word is the word key here. And you can see that this word has got a spelling of E that we don't come across very often. It's got the E-Y spelling. Um, but this is a really important word to remember. And it's just one of those ones that you've got to get in your head. You've got to remember how it's spelled. So this is the word key. Okay, next word. We've met this word before. We met it actually last week when we were looking at the A sound. And we looked at A being spelt with an A by itself. So this word is baby. But this week we're focusing on the E sound and you'll notice that it's that Y at the end that makes the E sound, baby. So sometimes a Y just by itself can make the E sound. And lastly, we've got this word people. Now this is a bit unusual because we've got an E and an O together, but we just hear an E sound, okay? We don't hear an O oh, or a different combination, a different sound from this combination, we just hear an E. So it's p, e, p, l, people. Okay, and this is a word we use all the time. So it's one of those words that you just really uh, need to know um, so that you can use it and so that you can read it. Okay, so um, you might want to just pause there, have a quick go at saying each of those words, just um, remembering how each of them are spelled, looking out for the E sound, and then you can move on to this next bit. Right, final part then. So we're taking all that we've learned and we're um, applying it to reading some sentences. Okay, so have a look, sit up nice and straight, look at this sentence and Click pause, have a go at reading it, and then we're going to read it together and look out for the E sound. Okay, so click pause now, have a go at this one.
Right, let's read it through all together then. In this theme lesson, you will complete some research before you leave. Okay, so all together that sounds like this. In this theme lesson, you will complete some research before you leave. Right, let's have a look for those E sounds. You can see our first one is a split digraph in theme. Then we've got complete, another split digraph there. We've got an E at the start of research. Notice how we've also got an E A, but it's not making an E sound. Listen to the word research. R E S E R C H. Okay, it's got an R there, and actually that E A and R are working together to make the er sound. So a bit of a tricky one there, um, but it has got an E sound at the front. We've got B four. There it is. B four and leave. And there we've got an. E and an A making the E sound. So in this theme lesson, you will complete some research before you leave. Okay, right, ready for the next one? Let's go. So sit up nice and straight again, have a go at this sentence, click pause, and then click play again when you're ready to go through it together. Right, let's go. The Dream was about a green bean floating down the stream in the evening. Right, so all together that's the dream was about a green bean floating down the stream in the evening. Let's have a look for those E sounds. I wonder if you spotted them. First one is here in dream, spelt with an EA. Next one we've got green. Now this is not one that we've looked today but you should recognize that from before. That's the double E spelling of E. Then we've got another EA spelling in bean floating down the stream. Another EA there. And then lastly we've got a split digraph at the end in evening. Evening. Brilliant. Well done for having a go at reading that one and for any of those E sounds that you found as well. Are you ready for the last one? Now you already know that I like to make the last one a bit more tricky, so you've got to concentrate really hard for this one. Right, sit up nice and straight. Have a go at reading this one. Click pause and then click play when you want to go through it together. Okay, last one. Let's go through it together then. There is a good reason to believe this is a peach. Okay, so a bit of a nonsense sentence, but also a bit of a tricky sentence. Let's have a look and see whether we can find the E sounds. Now, straight away, it might look like, oh, hang on, we've got um, an E split digraph here, and we have, but it's not making the E sound, is it? Listen to that word, air, there. It's making the air sound. So we can't highlight that one because it's not an E sound. So there is a good reason. Well, that's definitely got an E sound, hasn't it? The E-A spelling there in reason. And then we've got another one in this word, believe. But actually, we've got two there, haven't we? Believe. So the first one is there, believe. And... Well, it, the end of this word's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because we've got an IE, which is making the E sound, but we've also got an E on the end, so it looks like it could be a split digraph as well. So we know that somewhere in the end of that word, we've got a combination of letters making the E sound, believe. And I would highlight that I and E there as making the E sound. But you could argue that it's the split digraph as well. Right, last ones, and this word is peach. There it is with an E A. So three, sorry, four E sounds in there, um, but not always um, where we'd expect there to be E sounds. Okay, 
Right, well done today. Well done on all that great reading. Um, you've done some fantastic work today. You should be proud of yourself. And we'll leave it there for now. Well, thanks again for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, before I go, one quick thing to say. Last week, um, I said that my second lesson of the week was going to be on Thursdays. Now, I, I've got my date slightly mixed up. Uh, so the second lesson this week is coming out on a Friday. And that'll be the same as um, all of the other phonics phases as well. So I'll see you again on Friday this week. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you again soon.